Welcome back you guys. We're gonna show you a rainbow design today and it's one of my favorites um, and it's one of the kids' favorites too, so let's get going. One of the things that's important to know when you're doing a rainbow is you wanna have a longer bristled brush. It lets you get a lot of water and when you're doing the load, you gotta keep your lines nice and straight and you're gonna have water pool inside of the brush. So if you come over, you press and you put some weight on the back of the bristles. It sucks the water out, but it leaves most of the paint on. Then you can come and load one more time. Then if we do the rainbow on the cheek, it ends up really small. So what we wanna do is we're gonna use the red corner of the rainbow and we're gonna start on an angle and pull all the way around. And you wanna try and get it in the first stroke. You can see my red side is a little less and so I'm gonna go back but the rainbow is always gonna be the brightest if you can do it in that first initial stroke. Now rainbows can be a really fun thing to add different additions onto, but the classic thing to add to a rainbow is going to be some clouds. There are a couple of different cloud types that I really like to use. With a filbert, you can do these nice little bubbly clouds, but then on the bottom, instead of just finishing it like this, like a regular cloud, if you pull back and forth, it gives you kind of that, you know, nimbo stratus, cumulonimbus, I don't know which kind it is, but it lets you have that little look. And then over on this side, let's just add another little cloud right here and do that little pulling stroke as well. I love adding a little bit of plant life. Now I have a dark colors palette. This has a bunch of different brands on it. But if you take a drip of water, when you're double loading your petal brush, and you get that water straight onto the paint, it lets you get a much darker load. You can come to the bottom of any rainbow and just add one of our fun flowers. We'll add a second one over here. Maybe a couple little empty petals. Let's see. One here, one there. Awesome. You don't want to add too many colors and too much else going on because you don't want to detract from the rainbow itself. But then we have all this empty space, so we can go ahead and we can fill those empty spaces with little dots as well. And maybe a couple little stars. Now we have a lot of detail here and not as much up here, so we're gonna come and we're just gonna add a few little teardrops going into the corner of that eye. And then let's pull one curl right there. It's gonna match the shape of those clouds and look really nice. And then we can even add just a little bit of detail work on top of those clouds. Now that they've dried, you can see that they picked up a little bit of the pink from the rainbow. So by adding just that extra layer, they're going to look more realistic. Add one here. Add a few little dots. Add a few little dots. And even what can be fun is you can add a couple little hearts. I love how on a rainbow it gives us this empty cheek. And we can add some chunky glitter right there. And we can add some up here to kind of really fill out this half face design. Just throw some on. And then we'll take our loose glitter and just touch that on to the design itself so that the sparkles are really nice and evenly dispersed. 